you are tuned to KGB in Bozeman. We are Gallon Valley Community Radio. You can find us at 95.9 on your FM dial or kgbm.org online. It's time tonight for the Local Musician Spotlight. I would like to thank our sponsors, Slam, supporting local artists and musicians, Columbo's Pizza and Pasta, Bozeman Brewing Company, and Silverleaf Cannabis. And we are in the Tune Factory tonight with Moonlight Moonlight.
Well, thanks for coming in tonight. We've been we've been working on getting this lined up for a little while, and I'm glad it came together. It's uh, it's good to have you in. It's been a while since we've had string band music in here in the Tune Factory. I was thinking, which led me to think that to overuse a hackneyed expression, the local musician spotlight is a little bit like a box of chocolates. When you tune in, you're not really sure what you're going to get, but it's like a good box of chocolates. So none of them are going to be bad. Oh. You won't get any, you know, <laughs> none of the episodes will be like the ones with the orange cream centers or something. I yeah, mean, I never liked those. I my apologies them. to anybody out there that might like those kind, <laughs> yeah. but, you know. So uh, I wonder if you guys want to introduce yourselves. And uh, Yeah, so uh, we are Moonlight Moonlight. Um, to my left here, we have Lenka Swenson. Hello. Um, to my far right, we got Mr. Kevin Fabozzi on the mandolin. And we got uh, Mr. Isaac Weimiller on the bass fiddle. And my name is Xander Shivanis, and this is a guitar. He didn't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, um, So this is a, a f relatively recent configuration for the band. But you guys have been together for, what, three or four years now? Wow, yeah. I want to say probably about two and a half or three years, I think our first ever gig um, was on Halloween day at Red Tractor Pizza, I want to say. Nice. So, yeah, and yeah. that was maybe... It's probably like right before COVID. Right. Was it before COVID? I yeah, think right so. before COVID. Oh, yeah. Probably. Yeah. We kind of just started forming then. And, and then. time has been... Uh, I don't even know <laughs> if it's real or not anymore since COVID, so I don't know how long that's been. That's yeah. true. It's <laughs> a, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you measure time through that period. I think, can you just, like, leave a year out or... Yeah, uh, maybe. it comes and goes. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think I was originally familiar with the U.S. a three-piece... Then your fiddle player moved away. You find another fiddle player that's probably pretty familiar with the way that your first fiddle player played, I would guess. Yeah, that was my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Lenka, it's, you know, we love Hans and we miss him and he's a great friend. And Lenka, it's been so fun to play with her because she really, it, they, they play completely differently and beautiful in their own ways. And so it's great to have Lenka be a part of, of this as well um, for totally different reasons. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. And uh, Kevin, I've I've been watching you play for quite a few years and with different bands, and uh, so great yeah. to see you like uh, in this conf in this group. So yeah, this is a blast. These guys are great. <laughs> I'm glad that they have me along for the ride. <laughs> we roped him in. He can't leave now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, I guess you guys have uh, been playing out a little bit this summer. Um, are you kind of thinking you're gonna gonna keep at least once in a while playing out here th for a while? Or yeah, we'll probably keep playing. <laughs> it's kind of up in the air. I feel like we got to the point where we we were playing like quite a bit, and then uh, you know we kind of like had a bunch of original tunes, and we're like, all right, now we're, it's time to record, and uh, we just never did that. So that's kind of in the back of our minds, I think, too. Yeah. At some point. Um, but yeah, we're gonna keep playing out, and we're yeah. still yeah, we still kind of like after Hans left, we kind of took us a while to like reform the configuration of the band. So. Yeah, and I think at our heart, and like that's why we brought these two wonderful people on, is because we are a live music band. I think we love to make live music that's different every time you play it, and there's an excitement to that, and you know, and sometimes you might uh, crash and burn a little bit. <laughs> But then sometimes you have these moments, and that's kind of, I think, I don't want to speak for these guys, but that's kind of why I play music is for those moments. So these guys are great at fostering that environment, and we've been having a lot of fun doing that. Nice. Yeah, I definitely um, feel that way about music, too, live music. It's like sometimes things go in a not great direction. You know, so once in a while the wheels might come off a little bit, but uh, um, 
then every once in a while the things transcend and and uh, it's always my estimation that the transcendence uh, outweighs anything else by a pretty large margin so totally, totally yeah we're humans you know <laughs> yeah it's great yeah it's that's why we love music yeah I am not a human. <laughs> <laughs> He's a lizard person. <laughs> lizard people need music, too. I, true. Maybe, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you guys want to play some tunes? Yeah, so um, we'll play one here. Um, I wrote it, uh, I want to say, four or five, six years ago. Um, I had gone to see a concert at the Rialto and um, maybe had a little too much fun, and the next day I, I woke up and I wrote this song. <laughs> up in a familiar way My blood is a fiery haze when you turn 22 and you're not okay Where do you go when you don't feel right? Is it to the darkness or to the light? Where do you go when you have lost sight? Is it to the darkness or to the light? Shame. She said, I'm too old to keep playing this game And love ain't enough to keep on living the same Where do you go when you don't feel right? Is it to the darkness or to the light? Where do you go when you have lost sight? Is it to the darkness or to the light? And oh, here we go again we Dirty our fingers in past months Like a soft earthquake You won't ever forget this place Or the steps that it took To keep your head out of space Where do you go when you don't feel right Is it to the darkness or to the light Where do you go when you have lost sight Is it to the darkness or to the light Where do you go when you don't feel right Is it to the darkness or to the light Where do you go when you have lost sight Is it to the darkness or to the
Some people attack hangovers with aspirin or maybe a glass of tomato juice with an egg in it. But I got to imagine that maybe writing a song like that probably works better. Yeah, you know, now that we're years away from the event, I can laugh at it. But at the time, it wasn't that funny. <laughs> but hey, that's life and music. Um, cool. Yeah. Link is going to sing us one now.
Kevin, you want to talk about this next tune? Sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we're going to do, uh, this is a tune I wrote on the mandolin a long time ago uh, on, on, a, on a main salmon trip. Um, had a mandolin along with my good buddy, Eddie Garcia, who also had a mandolin with him. And um, I don't remember us picking a whole lot, but I do remember kind of penning the first couple phrases of this tune, and I was picking around with it just a couple of weeks ago, and Xander said, what is that? Yeah. So here we go. Um, <laughs> it's a tune called uh, The Salmon River Run is what I named what it. What is that? Teach it to me right now. <laughs> it goes like this. <laughs> Did you end up with some fish to go with the tasty song that you got from the trip? Didn't get any fish. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> didn't get any fish with that one. At least you had the song, <laughs> so you didn't get skunked. But I got the, yeah, I got the tune. So. <laughs> and it's, it's fun to play. These guys are great. They do such a nice job of just getting, getting all over that. So. Yeah. Kev, uh, Kev's going to sing us another one of his, of his tunes here. You know, one day he was like, so Kevin and I have been playing together now, you know, as a duo before he, he played with this group for like maybe a year and a half, two years now. And I was showing him one of my songs once and he was like, 
you know, I don't really write, you know, I don't, I don't really have a lot of tunes. You know, he's so, he's such a humble guy. And then I'm like, well, show me one of your tunes. And he pulled this one out and I was like, dang, that's an awesome song. So we, uh, we learned it and yeah, it's great too. Dang, it's, it's, it's an awesome a song. song. About Let's play that song. Dang, yeah. that song is cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song. The same it's thing. a song about dang. not being able to write a song. Oh, <laughs> see, that's cl- <laughs> when you can meta. always count that's on that. That's meta. There, <laughs> so meta. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to do that again. I wanted to do that again, anyways. Yeah. The song in my heart always falls to the floor I stumble right over it I sneak out the back door Three chords and some melody mixed with the blues And buy back the memory and give us a tune Well it was 1969 when I came into this world I sing it on bird Oh, a wife and two kids And with the love all around And what makes it go up And what makes it fall down Oh, the song in my heart Always falls to the floor I stumble right over it I sneak out the back door Three chords and some melody Mixed with the blues To buy back the memory You know, it seems I never make time I put the song in my heart Some musical rhyme Or maybe that smoke will clear You know, and I'd have one last beer And I'd write you a song Fill your eyes up in tears But the song in my heart Always falls to the floor And I stumble right over it I see you out the back door Three chords and some melody Mixed with the blues Buy back a memory Give us a tune That's a good one. That's oh, a keeper. That's a keeper. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Cool. I'm going to sing one now. Yeah. Making it full circle here. So, yeah. This one's called Back to Me.
If you're just tuning in, this is the Local Musician Spotlight here on KGV and Bozeman, Gallatin Valley Community Radio. We're in the Tune Factory with Moonlight Moonlight. I do want to take a second to thank Pat Loken, the uh, proprietor of this fine establishment and purveyor of fine video and sound capturing, and uh, he's the one who makes this all happen. Um, thanks for uh, doing all the things and uh, making this come off every week. Um, if you missed the first part of it or know somebody else that would like to see it, you can tune in on Saturday evening at 6 p.m. We'll play it again. And you can watch the video on YouTube on the Loken Productions YouTube channel anytime you'd like. So uh, let a friend know. They could use some of this music, I'm pretty sure. Definitely worth some good karma. So thanks to you guys for again for coming out. Yeah, thanks for having us. We're stoked. <laughs> Here's one uh, Kevin and I learned off John Reichman record, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, boy, I can never remember this first name of the guy that wrote the tune. His last name's Childress. Um, oh. But it's not a John Reichman tune, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> not Brad Childress, offensive coordinator for the no, Eagles in 2004. Guy. Okay. <laughs> Don't ask me why I know that. <laughs> Later, a Vikings head coach, of course. Anyway. Yeah, you kick it off, <laughs> man. All
you're casting about for mandolin music, a John Reichman album. Pretty good place to go, I think. Yeah, oh, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We got to hang out with them earlier this this summer. Oh, up nice. At, up in Monarch at the Montana Fiddle Camp, and um, he was up there, and it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, to hang out with him and sit next to that Lloyd Lore. And oh yeah, he just ate. watch everything he does is mesmerizing. He's, he's a wizard. If I took one thing away from watching you, Kevin, we've talked about this. I think the secret lies in the fact that every time I walked past his cabin, he was eating a, a bowl of steel-cut oats. <laughs> Doesn't matter whether it was 9 in the morning or 9 at night. So if you want to play like John Reichman, I think... Steel-cut oats. Steel-cut yes. oats. There you go. I thought they were cornflakes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta change my diet now. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> I led you astray. <laughs> We're going to play a, a original tune here. Um, there used to be a, a music festival called the Moods on the Madison. Do you remember that, Bob? Did you go to that? I don't think I ever went to that. I okay, they only I did it, that. I believe, two years outside of Ennis, Montana, behind the grocery store there in that big field. And I only went the second year, which was the last year. And uh, the closing artist was Bass Nectar. So you could hear it from... Uh, all the way, like probably like three miles away, you can hear <laughs> bass nectar rocking. But I had such a great time. I was camping there. It was my first summer in Montana. Um, and I thought that I had uh, maybe fall in love with a lovely lady uh, at this music festival. And uh, sometimes when the, the uh, joy, we'll call it, of the music wears off, you kind of, the truth sets in perhaps. So, uh, and I wrote this song, so I got this out of it. It's called Festival Girl. I said, I think that I'm in love. She said, you've done too many drugs. You ain't the best or the worst, and you ain't the last, and you're not the first. Well, you're right, I'm a little bit high, and this music is making me really vibe, and it might just be the tads and the orange juice. I feel like I can really let loose, and she said it's okay to be up too swell. Hey, hey, like you, like, let's hold hands in the parking lot. Let's hold hands in the parking lot. Maybe festival loving is all we got, so let's make some love and smoke some pot. Yeah. Well, all she wore was a flowery dress, so her flowers in her hand, one tucked between her breasts. She knew all the songs of the Grateful Dead. I bet she had a tapestry above her bed. Well, all I had was a fake ID, some cocaine, ecstasy, and LSD. Luckily, that was enough for me to think that I was in love with some hippie hula hooping angel from above. Well, hey, hey, like you, like, let's hold hands in the parking lot. Let's hold hands in the parking lot. Maybe festival loving is all we got, so let's make some love and smoke some pie, yeah. third day my head started to hurt as the drugs were off and the music got worse my campsite was looking like a piece of junk it's been four days since i've taken a dump well i started to realize that love wouldn't last when i asked for her number and she said pass she said it was fun hanging out with you it's the end of this party i got things to do it was good and it's short but now it's through well hey hey like you like let's hold hands in the parking lot let's hold hands in the parking lot Maybe festival loving is all we got. So let's make some love. And smoke some pot, yeah. I'm never going back to move on the mass. <laughs> Do 
you feel that that song pretty accurately captured the moods of the Madison? You know, it captured my mood on the Madison <laughs> at the moods on the Madison. <laughs> Songs are a snapshot in time. Yeah, you know. <laughs> of course, um, mom and dad, that's a totally fake story. <laughs> As he winks at the camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go.
Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> that worked out all right. Yeah, I usually didn't like tap on that tune, and then one time I just kind of started like just tapping around on my bass, and it was like, oh, it's kind of cool. That we were like, yeah. yeah, that was like two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was like just now. Yeah. You guys just, <laughs> whoa, that's kind of cool. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Man, we we're so thankful for uh, for you guys having us here, and yeah, thanks. You know, uh, I don't know how we're doing on time. We well, on our set list, we wrote we got one more tune. Uh, is that yeah, cool? Yeah, we've got time for one. Yeah, yeah. All right. Eight minutes, Sounds all right. Perfect. So uh, this one, this one is uh, it's called Fever Dream, and Isaac and I wrote this back in the COVID days. We used to, we lived together in this basement of this college house. Dank basement. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dank and musty. It was it was imagine the darkest and mustiest basement, and then it, it was more dark and musty than that. But uh, you know, we got COVID together, and um, we just ended up hanging out in this basement. <laughs> we didn't really see much natural light. And, uh, you know, we were experiencing varying effects of the COVID-19 symptoms. And we were lucky we didn't get too sick. But we did feel a little weird. And so, uh, you know, everything just kind of started to feel like a fever dream in those four days. So Isaac and I wrote this song. It's called Fever Dream.
Thanks, COVID. <laughs> yeah, COVID yeah. fever dream. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much for coming on. And, uh, yeah, hopefully maybe these things will find their way onto, uh, I don't know, you know, I guess a thumb drive is the equivalent of a stack of two-inch tapes from a recording studio anymore. But uh, maybe some recordings of some of your music will, will make their way out into the world here. That's definitely a goal of ours. Yeah. Thanks you know. a lot, Bob. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks Bob. Uh, Thanks, Pat. Thanks, KGVM. Yeah. Thanks, Moonlight Moonlight. And uh, keep it tuned right here to KGVM and uh, hope that everybody has a great night. We'll be, we'll, uh, we'll be playing great stuff all through the night.